Hey everybody, it's Walt with Florida Services Tampa. We're going to do a quick walkthrough on a house we're doing. This is a remediation we're doing in a bathroom. Uh, I guess this particular property had a shower valve that was leaking, so and they got mold inside the walls. He had a hygienist come out, do some mold testing, and um, obviously it failed. So we were hired to do it. So what we're doing, as you can tell, the entryway all the way back to the bathroom in the back left corner of this property. Uh, it's considered a containment zone. So what we're going to do is contain this area so when we carry debris in and out of here, we don't cross-contaminate the rest of the property. So obviously, this is an entryway into a kitchen, and the wall's up nice and tight. This is another entryway into the kitchen. That wall's up nice and tight. This is an entryway to a bedroom area. There's three bedrooms back there. That wall's up and tight. The door going to the laundry room, we taped off the seam of the door so it's all closed in all the way around. And of course we installed the containment from floor to ceiling all the way down. So that blocks off the living room. So all his personal contents behind that prop, behind this wall, all the other personal contents behind this other wall, and the entertainment center is covered up too. So at least you know all his contents will remain on site in the property and into the bedroom. We did another containment wall. Let me stand on this side so you can get a good look. This one wraps around. So behind this wall is his bed, his dressers, um, his you know knickknacks, whatever he had that was sitting against this wall, the end tables, etc. And of course the floor is covered up so we don't get damage on the floor. In the bathroom, this is the shower that's gonna be removed today. If you can see inside where somebody's taped this off, we can tape this off now if it comes off easy. But a um, shower valve is leaking, and you can see, I actually see the bug. Bugs are attracted to the moisture because the insulation's wet, the drywall's wet, everything's wet. When we put this back together again, we'll put a cement board in, but right now they have drywall in. And if you put your finger in here, you can clearly see it's still wet. So there's a chance it still could be dripping. No, but I see, look, there it is, it's still wet. There's a chance it's dripping over here on this one side. Yeah, it's soaking wet, matter of fact. I don't know if the camera's showing that too well or not, but you can see it. So, I know we had a shower valve put in, but now I'm starting to think that there's a leak over here. Oh yeah, it's wet. It's dripping. So I think we're gonna have to, he's no longer have to replace this entire valve. But anyway, all this is coming out. Part of the issue we're gonna have too in the vanity, when the plumbers ran the vanity, they ran through the cabinet through the cabinet they were in shutoffs. So we're gonna have to cut the water off and cut those pipes and get a plumber right here to cap them off for us. But before it can be reinstalled, it's gonna have to be changed a little bit because it's not very professional. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. We'll do another video and uh, show you the progress once it's all tore out. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube and uh, make sure you share our videos. Thanks a lot, have a great day.